going on YouTube, Focus Hands here. And in this episode, we're going to be uh, putting on and are modding the rear of the car. Uh, we're going to take a Mazda Speed 3 rear sway bar, and we're going to delete the sway bar links for the Focus and add on the ball joints from the Mazda Speed 3 along with the rear, the rear excuse me, sway bar uh, to the car. Uh, this is all in hopes to decrease the body roll and uh, increase the handling and performance in the rear end. Uh, I believe it's going to work. Uh, you know, getting getting a, a stiffer and and thicker bar uh, obviously will will make the car better. But does it really make the car better? And that's what we're going to find out here today. Stay tuned. Fight. 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 A sway bar in and this bad boy is beefy it's it's pretty it's pretty heavy too and you, as you see it has that uh, ms3 Mazda speed 3 rear sway bar and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take off the one on the ST right now so let's do it All right, so uh, I got the car jacked up enough that I can work up under here, but I also added the jack uh, over there as a secondary should something happen with the jack stands. I don't anticipate anything happen with the jack stands. I just want to make sure that if I'm under here, there is enough room that the car does fall. Uh, I don't have to worry about getting crushed, but let's try to be uh, as safe as possible, shall we? Anyway. Let's get on with uh, taking off the sway bar uh, links to delete them, and then we'll work towards uh, taking care of the uh, sway bar in the back. Stay tuned. Let's get up under here. And they are indeed 14s. All right. So we're going to get a 14 millimeter uh, spanner, put it on there, and undo it from the bottom. Alright, so I got the uh, got the spanner. I'm gonna put it on there and uh, get my little ratchet um, that I got earlier. This thing is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Hit the other side and or pull this out. Right, there's that. Oh, snaps. So that's out. Then we'll have to pull over to the uh, passenger side and take that one off. Let me move you over here. Just like so. Put on our spanner. Put on our uh, railway. Uh, Night right angle drive. So 
that out. Now, let's see what these are. These probably look like 13s on the back. Here. Yep, these are 13s. Let's see if this thing can break them. Extension for the top. To get up to the uh, the top portion, that is let's see, where are we? You can't really see it, but there's a bolt up here. Uh, yeah, you can't see it, but. I'm gonna use this extension to get in there with the uh, 13 millimeter bolt, 13 millimeter socket, excuse me, to wrench it off. Let's get that one up in there, just like that. Ooh, that hurts. Yeah, so this isn't strong enough to remove those bolts, so I gotta go old school. Which is fine. Let me go grab that tool. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going old school on them. Let's get this off. Let's <sighs> loosen this one up and then use the uh, power tool. Alright, so like that, the uh, the old sway bar is out, and we just need to get ready to install the new one. Stay tuned. So now it's time for a comparison between the two sway bars. Look at this 19 millimeter boy. And look at this 27 millimeter beefy boy that the MS3 is. This thing, oh my gosh, it's it's pretty pretty stout. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty uh it's, it's pretty stout. Anyway, let's get it installed. Right, YouTube, let me give it to you straight. So it is these uh, ball joints here that uh, are gonna be the massive upgrade for the unit. Uh, yeah, the sway bar is gonna be nice, but these ball joints here will do a better job at um, maintaining the uh, body roll or decreasing the body roll than any of the sway bar parts could have done on the car as is. So this is also going to be an upgrade for the Mazda, Mazda 3, Mazda Speed 3. You can find any of them. I just happened to get the Mazda Speed 3 one because of the 27 millimeter bar. Uh, but this is also going to be an upgrade for you. I'm going to run these for now, but I'm going to buy new ones to put on the car. Uh, anyway, like I said, let's uh, go ahead and get these on.
All right, so pop a squat, Chief. Let me show you what's going on. These little metal locks right here uh, to keep the uh, bushing from transferring in either or direct or probably just this direction, right? This blocks just enough to where I can't line up the holes to fit this on the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one of these to give me the ability to move this uh, over, to so slide this bushing over just a bit, and voila, that'll be all I need to do. Uh, and that is essentially all you need to do to get this to fit right. Anyway, let's go do that, and uh, I'll turn you back on. All right, so I'm going to use this multi-tool, and I'm just going to pull this or cut down to knock this little retainer off and we should be good to go. Let me take it off safety. Almost. I think I got through. Let me go grab something to try to mess with a little bit. All right. Let's get in here and try this like that. Maybe some channel locks. I don't want to cut myself. Get in here. Bend it enough to grab it with the channel locks so that I can bend it on uh, like that. Just one more time. All right, it's off. Let's go back to the car. So I'm gonna get back under here. Let's try again. I'll take this one. Go to the, go to the bottom. Screw in the bottom a little bit. Position is just right. Just even across the surface. Position this one. window. Alright, so we'll do the top window. Let's 
to do that for now. I'm gonna go back over to the left side and do this one. So we'll take these and these will go up uh, through the housing like it normally would. Uh, but we're going to need a washer. So you can take the washer from the sway bar links that you used to have. So you take this washer from the sway bar links, the old sway bar, and we're going to put that on top to hold the bolt because the, uh, the bolt is too small and it'll pass right through. Put this up, put this on top of it, and put this on top of that, screw it down. this it might be better to do the bottom part first and then do the top part to get it in place slide this in pull this over just like that Put it on there. Okay. You need this one for the side of the uh, sway bar link. that well, it's spinning so you're gonna need a uh, torx bit and or an allen key I think it's like a seven on the allen key or six or get yourself a I got a t30 torx bit I'm gonna stick up there and I think that'll work while I uh, torque it down. <clears throat> you need the spanner. I'm gonna put the spanner over it. Torque stick in place. Okay, 
there's that. So let's recap. So what you want to do to get this to work is one, uh, you're going to need the washers from your old unit, right? Use the washers from your old unit. Uh, you're going to need to put that washer on top of your sway bar uh, or your control arm and then use that as a brace so that the nut doesn't go all the way through which is what you're seeing here and uh, then you can go ahead and tighten that up uh, and uh, we can move on to the next part so I'm gonna go over here and finish this other side and uh, we will get in the car and take it for a little drive and see if it functions right stay tuned all right so I'll show you on this side just just before we do it um, so you want to get the washer from the old unit your old sway bar link and transplant that with the nut from your uh, sway bar uh, your ball joint put it on your ball joint you want to tighten that down as far as it can go take the nut that you got from the ball joint and you want to install that down below all the way over and uh, then you just tighten everything up and everything should be good go ahead and tighten this one up all right then remember you need to have your uh, T T30 along with your 14 millimeter spanner to uh, to tighten this down and that's it for that so let me do this and I'll turn you back on all right everything's all bolted in torque down the spec and uh, I'm about to uh, clean up all the mess and then we'll uh, we'll take it out for a drive here and see what gains I get with cornering not even cornering just the feel of the rear end um, if it's much more stiff which I'm hoping that it will be I got a little blue piece of tape over here Turn that off anyway let's clean up this mess with the mess all cleaned up we can now uh, drop the car. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right. Let's go crank it up and drive it, shall we? Stay tuned. You two, so I'm back under the car and try not to get burned here. Uh, but the source of the issue seems to be this way bar, uh, our ball joint linkage. Uh, it's not tight enough. And uh, it gave me a, a lot of, a, you know, excessive knocking sorry for wiggling you like that but that's kind of what was going on so I'm going to tighten this up and uh, that should take care of all that little uh, knocking noise that you get when something's not tight but I'm still going to replace these ball joints anyway uh, with brand new ones once they come in so let's do that all right focus crew so I'm out uh, now as you can see uh, driving the car or I'm about to start driving the car. Uh, I, I really need to get a one of these car mounts so that I can kind of show you all what the driving's like while I'm dr driving. <laughs> uh, but let me go run this little check and I'll give you my final verdict to see if this actually makes a difference or if it's just cool to talk about amongst your car buddies. Stay tuned. All right, YouTube, so I'm driving it. All right, uh, shout out to uh, Liquid Snake, I'm gonna put your name down here. Uh, thank you, Liquid Snake, for the suggestion to to even do the swap. 
it it is definitely one that I feel people uh, that want to get a little bit more performance out of the car in the handling department I think you should probably consider doing this swap and yes I did add the Loctite to the uh, the, the uh, ball joints when I went back and redid everything it does have Loctite on it I know um, but yeah thank you uh, Liquid Snake and uh, I hope that all of you see this and actually go out and try this because it makes a big difference in the car's handling uh, the body roll is way less in the car now uh, really 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 can't recommend this enough for all of you anyway let me get back to the house and uh, we'll wrap this up all right pop it up squat chief so we're back at the house and uh, I'm in the ST obviously so final verdict make the swap if you can uh, contact me I, I would assume uh, liquid snake would love to chime in on that uh, as well and uh, it's actually pretty easy to make this swap uh, I the hardest part that I had what you saw is using the multi-tool to cut the uh, little retainer for one of the um, what do they call those things in the back uh, bushings I guess you the, the little bushing in the back uh, rubber bushing so that was the hardest part and if you have one of those multi-tools which I suggest you get one of those you never know when you're gonna need it um, and I use it for a lot of woodworking stuff, uh, which I haven't shown on the channel. But if you have one of those, it makes the job a lot easier. Make sure you get something that cuts metal, and it'll be just as easy, uh, probably even easier than what I showed on on my uh, work. Anyway, uh, if you like this kind of content, like seriously, if you like this kind of content, comment, like it, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I really appreciate uh, each and every one of you. It, it actually makes the... Uh, making videos much more fun when people are engaging and you know if liking it or, and or hating it. if you hate it I guess well let me know why you hate it too I guess uh, but I don't know why you'd hate someone doing something uh, unless they were just not being truthful about what they were doing but the work is all there I mean it, it's it's easy enough for uh, beginners to pick up and do and uh, and it's an upgrade for veterans that may not know that you can make a switch from the 19 millimeter bar to a Mazda Speed 3 27 millimeter solid bar. Like I didn't even know that was a thing, but I need to look more at this Mazda stuff because there might be more uh, crossovers, if you will, between the two cars. And uh, I know in the past I did one with trying to cross over the rear hubs to get the five lug. Uh, I'm still looking at that, uh, but honestly, I kind of took a side. <laughs> it kind of took a side, uh, a side step from that because there's so many other things that I'm doing on the car right now that I feel like are more important. But this one I wanted to test out because you know Solid Snake again right here suggested that hey get rid of those crappy. Uh, sway bar links they don't really do much anyway yeah I mean phew, the car feels much more solid like it's it's solid go out and do it I'm telling you you'll it'll, it'll change your car's life it'll change the way it feels I'm glad I went out and I actually got mine off of eBay uh, so you know your your results may vary I picked it up for a hundred and thirty five dollars uh, and that came with the sway bar links, uh, excuse me, the ball joints. And um, yeah, that's that. Anyway, uh, till next time, uh, focus hands out. Peace.